Hello, this is the seventh in my series of features you can easily miss in Beaver Builder. In this one, I'm looking at Beaver Thema and the support it has for ACF relationship fields. That's the advanced custom fields plugin, a free plugin from the WordPress repository. That is a pro version, which I'm using here, but it doesn't matter in this example. And here I'm showing how we can display related or relational data across post types. And I'm doing it on this site with a custom post type called beaver templates and a related one called beaver snippets so let me show you the example this is a bit of a spoiler to videos that are coming up but if you look on the top here you'll see that i'm in the beaver underscore templates custom post type and i'm in the singular post called header one here's my blog post content but what i've added to the template is the beaver builder post module and I'm using it with Thema connectors to be able to connect it with post content that is in another custom post type, the Beaver Snippets post type, if that makes sense. So these are blog posts or the contents of blog posts to other different posts that are under the Snippets custom post type. So let me go and click through to one of those so you can see that. So there we are. The URL now is beaver underscore snippets, my custom post type. And this singular blog post is called burger toggle with central text. And we've just seen the content here. And I've got a two way relationship going on. I've also in the template for this singular post, I've added the Beaver Builder post module. And again, I'm connecting it up to that two way relationship. Now there's only one connection here. This snippet is only associated with one template, but there would be more as I set it up. So that's what we're looking at. Let me go back to my post because a couple of things I do need to mention. First is that I'm certainly no expert on this topic. This is the first time I've done anything with relational data like this. I'm sharing it with you even though I may be a little bit green on this because I'm sure there are other people like me who find this kind of thing slightly intimidating. Also, I need to just mention as well because there are so many people in the Beaver Builder community who are big fans of pods and I know that that pods is really strong on relationship data. So I'm not going to be able to do a video on that, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to just concentrate on the tools that I use, and I've chosen ACF. I'm sure there are other tools as well that do custom fields and can do this. I'm not saying any is better than the other. This is just the one I've settled on. So I'm hoping someone else might pick up and do something on that. Okay, so this is perhaps not the easiest thing to explain, but this is how I started. I went over, as I usually do, to the Beaver Builder knowledge base, and I found an article on this. And I would say this is pretty much all that you need in most circumstances. It shows you how to set things up with ACF. The only thing that I've added is, is that I'm actually showing some particular content that is within those posts themselves, where this really only takes you up to the point of displaying the sort of standard stuff that you get in the post module. Also, what I'm doing is I'm also using another free plugin from the repository, ACF Post to Post. Now, this plugin doesn't do anything. You won't see any settings with it, but what it does is it automatically updates the relationship fields at the other end of the relationship. So it means you only have to do a job once and it will connect at the other end. This will make more sense as I show you that. But this is a really handy plugin to add into this and it doesn't mention that in the article. So let me go back to the back end of this site so I can show you what I've been setting up. So stuff is not ready this, I haven't got my templates ready or my snippets, but it will be coming soon. And I've created a custom post type for templates and snippets. And I've done that in this case with the custom post type UI plugin, another free plugin from the repository. I've got a video on that. So I'll put a link into how to set this up. Also, there's another video as well where I show how easy it is to create your own custom post type plugin. Next thing we need to do, obviously we've created some posts in here to connect to each other, so they're all ready. And we need to set up our ACF fields. So I'm gonna go over to the field groups to show you what I've done there. Now the key bit is to make sure that you're using the same fields with the same names when you want them to connect. So let's just go into Beaver Snippets here. Now there's a few fields that have been assigned 
to the post type of beaver snippets, which we need to do to make sure they're just going to show there. So I've got my code in there. I'm not particularly using this at the moment. But this is the one to make the relationships happen. We've got a field that is called relationships and you just need to make sure that it's got its name and that you're using the relationship field and the important thing is to give it this key um no, which one is it the key name that's the important one has to be the same on both ends so let me go back and we'll just go into templates and this has only got one field the relationship field and i've done exactly that it's got the same name here so we can connect those up and when we've done that you'll see it in the back and let's just go first to snippets i'm going to go into all our snippets and we'll use this one again and if we go in here you'll see that i'm using the the main field here just to describe things and i'm bringing that forward in the post also i'm bringing this field in where i've contained my snippet itself i'm not using this at the moment and this is the field that we're interested in now we've connected those relationships by calling them the same name we now are able to select so i'm in snippets i'm able to select from all of the posts that are under the beaver templates and it automatically is showing them here but we can search for them and it's just a case of just clicking on those and it will get added to this side and we can just delete those again now the great thing is once we've done it on one side in the snippets in this case with using this plugin we don't need to do it the other side because it does it for us it just makes that connection so because of the fact that I've added header one here, it means if you go to templates to header one, it will already be connected to this snippet, which is called hamburger toggle with central text, if that makes sense. So we've already made our connections now. Let me just show you what I've done with the post module. And I'm going to do this first on this post because this is more traditional way with posts. I would use fields in the back end. And let me just show you that first. Let's view this snippet so what do I do I want to leave this site yes I do ah there we are we're in the front and what I've done is I've created a beaver thema template for all my singular posts that are under beaver snippets with this which is what I would typically do so let's go into that and we'll see what we're going to view when we get in there oh it's the same actually usually we have to preview and select what we're going to preview under here but it's landed on the same one so that's great let's just get rid of that and there's our content and in this case I've just put in a title here that's going to remain a bit of static content and here's our post module here the key thing and we need to do this on both ends is that we need to go over to this content tab and now we've got ACF relationships going we've got this extra tab here and we need to select that one so you don't normally see that but now we have it so we need to make sure it's that and make sure that this is set also to relationship and also that was our key that was our name that we added in and that's important relationship again here so once we've done that we've got things connected up in this example I'm just using some of the post modules default so in my layout here you'll see I've set it up as columns three columns here I mean, if there was more connected they would line up there and I can do all my styling as normal what I've done is I've just turned off all the other stuff that comes on by default author dates and I've just left it with only the featured image and the title on that so it's pretty straightforward let me go over now I think I've got a tab here yes for the header one now here just to show you this it's bringing forward more data some of those fields here so i'm going to show you that but i'm doing something slightly different on this one i haven't got a thema template for all of the posts that are in this custom post type because i'm wanting later in videos to share with you these templates that i'm setting up so i needed to use the page builder and basically i've saved a normal template and i'm just repeating that for each of the posts manually it's not something i would normally do but let's just show you that i'm going to go into this header one template and it's exactly the same we've got the content which i'm putting in manually here so i can got all that flexibility with a page builder <clears throat> and here i've set this up here so we can uh, got these but what you're not going to see what you would normally do if i was using a thema template is that i've got a global row here and it's not going to be able to show me the content as soon as i go to change that but it doesn't matter you want to look at the field so it says sorry can't find any posts and of course i'm not 
in the normal theme and setup, so I can't select one. So again, we just need to make sure that the content is exactly the same and that we've got that name relationship as the key and that matches up so everything's connected. And then under layouts, I've done more on this one as this was bringing forward actual contents from the post itself. I've not been able to use the defaults that are here. So I have had to set this to custom and then we can go in and customize what is going to output through the post module there. And to do this, you need a little bit of knowledge about HTML, but it's pretty obvious where you can remove stuff and add in content. And we need to do our field connectors here, which I've done with adding in the content section here. So I've gone and got the post content and I've inserted that here or somewhere I've inserted it, but that's how you would add it. And then you can also, as I've done here, I've got the ACF field of text with the name of code here and I've wrapped this around some pre tags so people can copy and then paste that so that would just be a case of using the field connectors again and just scrolling down to ACF post fields it defaults to text which I want anyway and I would just need to put in here the word code and we would have the same being added there without the HTML in this case. So I'm going to cancel all of that. Of course, you can do your CSS in the tab over here. And you might want to do that to your liking, but I'm just going to uh, cancel this and come out of it. There is one other thing that I needed to do here because when I didn't have any snippets for that particular template, which could happen, I didn't really want all of that content to be showing. So I'm using the rules that they, the new conditionals that are in there to hide the whole of this row, including this title here. So what I've done, you can see this here, that a rule has been uh, applied because it gives this little eye. So I can just show you this quickly. You might not need to use this yourself, but if I go over to the advanced tab and you can see on the displays, I've selected conditional logic. And if I open those up, you'll see what I've done. I've gone to ACF post field. If it's relationship, uh, my key name again is set, then it's going to show. So basically, if there's any relational data there, it will show the whole of this row. If not, the whole row is not going to show at all. So I think... That is all I can show you. I hope this was useful and not too confusing. If it was, as always, I'm just going to ask you if you'll give me a thumbs up on YouTube. It really encourages me. And also, if you like these kind of videos on Beaver Builder or WordPress more generally, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I've had a little bit of a break, but I'm going to be trying to catch up on the video. So I hope you'll watch again and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks very much for your time. I hope you have a great day and it's goodbye for me. Bye-bye.